Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is a question. Is your team murmuring? Now, this is not about team members complaining. Instead, there's an intriguing phenomenon among starlings, birds. And in fall or winter, just before sundown, tens of thousands, maybe a hundred thousand of them will gather together and fly through the sky, continuously twisting and turning, dancing in elaborate shapes, creating a beautiful and a mesmerizing show in the air. This formation is called a murmuration. And the best explanation that experts have for how this happens is that one starling copies the movement of seven starlings around it. Then each of those seven starlings copy their seven neighbors, and somehow the movement of the whole group is synchronized. They create these patterns anywhere from five to 45 minutes until suddenly they swoosh to the ground to huddle together for warmth and roost for the night. Their movement as a group serves to protect individual starlings from predators who might want to attack them, and the heat from their bodies creates a warmer roosting spot. They also share information on food sources as a means of survival. And while they may break off during the day into smaller groups to search for food, they rejoin the group at sundown to form the murmuration. These birds set an example for a massive team coordinated and supportive in their activities. As a group, they perform better than the sum of individual birds. And in that context, we can learn something from this murmuration phenomenon. First observation, communication and collaboration are critical for the group to thrive. Starlings share information on food sources. They signal flight patterns to each other. And similarly, individual team members must value sharing information that meets their colleagues' needs and benefits the group. A team that communicates and collaborates in a way that meets the needs of loving, belonging, esteem, and self-actualization for each other will perform at higher levels. Observation number two, alignment among team members improves performance. So starlings move in beautiful synchronization. And similarly, Robert Quinn wrote a book called Deep Change that tells the story of Bill Russell, a former all-star player for the Boston Celtics. Russell said that there were times when two opposing teams stimulated each other to high levels of play that became a mutually reinforcing system. And at this level, Russell says he could almost sense how each play would develop and when shots would be taken. This high level of performance was amazing to watch, just like a murmuration. So do others observe your team and marvel at how wonderfully choreographed their actions are? Third observation. Teams shift and evolve over time. So the flight patterns of starlings shift and evolve in very unpredictable ways. Teams similarly evolve as they respond to environmental threats and opportunities and internal strengths and weaknesses. While their overarching business objectives may remain constant, how they achieve them may vary. They have to be flexible, yet leverage systems and processes as underpinnings for success. So I want you to reflect on any great team you've ever been a part of. It probably wasn't great because someone told everyone what to do. It became great because each of you had a desire to support one another, to tap into each other's strengths and support each other's weaknesses. It became great because of the level of honest communication between each of you and the level of group excitement over any accomplishment on the team. Now, sure, there may have been individuals who provided greater glue in bringing the team together but no one stood out as taking glory over the others. Each person invested time and energy into strengthening the team. The leader simply removed roadblocks and created vision. So make a decision now to invest in murmuring with your team. Thanks for listening.